Hey guys, this is Punisher, staff editor at Don't Revive Me Bro, and I wanted to talk about something new that I'm trying out. As you can see, I am using a new piece of software for my sound. It's called Voice Meter Banana. It just came out a couple of days ago, and first of all, I want to give a big shout out and thanks to Chalk One at uh, Battlefield Podcast for pointing me to this because this has really solved my issues that I wanted to hopefully remedy this year early with my live stream in that I had to listen to my music stream while I was also playing my game and it hindered some of the audio cues that I would hear in game like footsteps and stuff that would tell me the enemies were near and so I wanted to be able to live stream my music to my stream without having to listen to it through my own headphones so with this this has now given me the ability to and it also gives me the ability to stream it to OBS using the same gaming rig that I'm using instead of having a separate PC. Now that's, you know, if you go to Chalk One's uh, uh, YouTube channel, Battlefield Podcast YouTube channel, and he has a great tutorial on giving you a rundown of voice meter, the basic version. This banana is a little more intuitive, a little more, uh, it's more complex, more features, but generally speaking, it works the same way as regular voice meter. But, this gives you some added features, some added uh, inputs and outputs, and this gives you the ability to use this to actually patch back into OB, uh, open broadcast software using uh, virtual audio cables and your aux inputs. And I'm going to show you how mine is set up. I'll just do a quick run through uh, of this, but I am using hardware input one. These are actual physical inputs here, or they can be configured using virtual audio cables. But Regardless, I have my microphone, my Blue Snowball, inputted into channel one, and then I'm using virtual audio cables here, and I've named them, you know, renamed them, comms cable, and that will be used for TeamSpeak, Skype, whatever that I'm using, and then my music cable, this is another virtual audio cable that I'm using for my different music programs, whether it's, uh, you know, I use uh, Windows Media Player, Spotify, Pandora, you can program all those to use this cable. Now, your normal gameplay and your primary sound that is, uh, you know, that your computer uses will come through this voice meter VAIO. This is your primary virtual input. Okay, then you have an aux input, likewise, that you can also set up and use if you want to. But this is my default setup right here. If, you, if I were to bring my playback devices up and bring it all down to the bottom, you can see that voice meter input is the... Uh, my default device and that's what you want it set to so that uh, this you know you can use this as your primary output but I'm able to take each of these inputs and it's just like a regular mixing board and I'm able to patch these into my hardware outputs my hardware outputs are a2 through a3 and then I have two virtual outputs which is b1 and b2 now if you look at the bottom right here you have master section this is your primary mix out okay your first three sliders or channels are your a1 through 3 as you can see labeled here and then you have b1 and 2 these are your two virtual outputs okay now I have a1 set to my headphones so I can listen to any of these channels through my headphones simply by clicking the a1 there and see I just click that and I'm listening to my microphone I usually turn that off because I don't want to listen to myself talking Lord but I have comms cable tapped in. Right now I have music tapped in that I'm listening to actually while I'm talking right now. But I can turn that off. And right now you're hearing the music going through the virtual output B1 that would be going to open broadcast software. But I'm not listening to the music through my headphones. That's what I was trying to accomplish. And I was thinking about buying a, uh, an actual hardware mixer. But I just wasn't able to cough up. I just didn't feel like I wanted to cough up that kind of money. To buy one and this is a nice cheap or even free solution to, to accomplish what I was trying to accomplish so but you can see I have the music patched in here using I'm actually streaming Spotify right now and I'm you know you can hear the channels go up and down I can change the volume on the fly instead of having to go in and you know change volume on OBS or change volume in Spotify I can go right here and do all the adjustments I want and still be able to stream all the other stuff without changing the other volumes. 
Now, a couple things here I have. This is a low pass, high pass. And basically what it is, is the, it's a low pass or a high pass filter, but you can adjust the low end of the frequency spectrum. And as you can see here, as I'm changing my microphone and I'm going up, I'm cutting out the low end. And basically, um, I would say it sounds probably somewhere around less than uh, 200 hertz or maybe it's 150 hertz, something like that. But as you slide it down, it starts letting more low end come in. Now, here I have no echo added to my microphone, but because I'm doing voice commentary or if we were recording uh, vocals for singing or something, you want to add a little echo into that. And so by sliding this up a little bit, it kind of gives you a little bit of brightness and echo and kind of, you know, makes the commentary uh, track sound a little better. Other stuff here, I'm just leaving it flat because I don't want, I don't want any uh, high pass or, uh, you know, low stuff cut into my comms. Likewise, my music, I want it flat. And a couple things here on the virtual side, your inputs here, you do have an equalizer, uh, basic treble and bass, and it's simply left click and you drag it up or down uh, to adjust the numbers there. It's very simple to use. Other than that, there's probably all of the functionality that I will use in this. Uh, I don't see if I, I might, you know, if I do commentary, I might lay an audio track. You have that ability here where you can actually patch in your different channels that you want to record to this cassette, and then you can click here to record, and it'll save it to your hard drive. I don't know if I'll do that. We'll see. It might. We, I might see a purpose for that here in the future. But I wanted to show you how I have these uh virtual audio cable set up and you simply have to download this separate and you have to download each one so each cable input that you have you have to download now you get this one for free off their website and it's uh, vbaudio.com vb-audio.com you can download each of these now if you want cable A and cable B you have to donate money to get those but by simply donating five, ten bucks, whatever you feel is necessary you feel it's worth you can download each of these. You get that option by donating. And it's not a, there's no uh, minimum to donation. You can do a dollar. I would suggest doing at least five or ten bucks because this is very helpful software. But download each of these. You install them, and they are now an input, a, a semi, it's a virtual input, but it's, it, it acts as a physical input to your uh, different sources that you want to use. So I can go into TeamSpeak and I can patch these in. I can uh, do Spotify, Windows Media Player, anything that I want to input into these cables right here. Now, let me explain this. You're seeing input here, but let me tell you how this works. When they're talking about input, they're talking about taking a source, say TeamSpeak, Windows Media Player, iTunes, or whatever, that source the signal going out of that source would go would go into the input of that cable, and that's what they're talking about here. So it makes a difference here because you'll see here I'm doing hardware input, but yet it says output on the cable. Okay, the output of the cable is actually the sort the signal coming from your your whatever source you want, Windows Media Player, for instance. Let's use that music coming from Windows Media Player going into the input of the cable. On the other end of the cable, you have the output going into the hardware input of your board, the mixer here. So that's how you have to look at it in the same way back here. As you see, this says hardware out, but if you were to look at my uh, virtual, it's an actual, it says it's input. So that's how it works. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps you out. I wanted to show this to you. Uh, one more thing I do want to show you to kind of show you how this is patched into uh, OBS is go in your audio and it simply it's as simple as can be. Leave your desktop audio device to default. Okay, don't even mess with that. But on your auxiliary audio device, this is going to give you the ability to put the output of voice meter to OBS. Since you have your microphone already patched to voice meter, you don't need to worry about a microphone because you have that in the voice meter. So you're going to patch all that mix coming out of voice meter into OBS, and that's going to give you your sound, as you can see as I'm talking right now, and you can see the green bar going up. So that's a cool, easy way to get OBS 
to uh, receive this audio, and you have a ton of op- of uh, different uh, opportunities you can do with audio and things here, and you have the ability to now record multi-track audio to OBS. So anyway, next video I'm going to talk about, uh, I say part two of this little series that I'm going to do, is why OBS should be the only recording software that you can use, especially when you use it with Voice Meter Banana. And I'll talk about that here in the next video. Guys, I hope you have a great weekend and use this video. I hope you can get Voice Meter Banana working. I know a lot of guys that I'm playing with now are starting to live stream and maybe this will be a, a great pick tool that they can use to enhance their live stream. I know it's enhanced mine. I'm really enjoying what it's uh, what it's given me now, and I love it. So anyway, I hope you guys can uh, use this. Please like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed this. If this has helped you out, I appreciate it. And we will see you guys on Battlefield. Bye-bye.